Good evening, guys. Welcome, Life Apollos. Happy to have you here, as always. Uh, although, tonight's video, not the happiest if you happen to be uh, a lover of the open road. Yes, tonight, guys, uh, I bring bad tidings to all of you beautiful people out there. We're gonna be talking about the speeding ticket nightmare uh, that was recently announced to be coming to the U.S. Uh, courtesy of our Transportation Secretary, Pete, and I can never pronounce it, Buttigieg? I hope that's correct, although honestly, I couldn't care less right now. I think I'm just gonna call him Pete for the remainder of the article. Uh, thanks to the person who sent me this on Instagram, I had no idea it was happening. Some of the best tips that we ever get come from awesome viewers like you. So big thanks for that, guys. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, this is your unfortunate news of the day. All right, so we're gonna dive right in, guys. Uh, now listen, this article is from Daily Mail, uh, but everyone in a while, uh, like a blind squirrel, they can find uh, nuts or nuggets of information uh, that happen to be accurate. Today is one of those times because they're basically just reporting a bunch of transportation uh, sort of secretary or U.S. Transportation Secretary facts about what's going on uh, concerning the new announcements. So uh, the title of the article is The Speed Camera Nightmare That's Coming to America, How the UK's Hated War on Motorists Costing Drivers $56 Million in Fines Every Year uh, provides a chilling glimpse of what's in store under Pete Buttigieg's plan. I knew I said that wrong again, I'm sure. Uh, Pete on Thursday revealed plans to promote speed cameras across the US. The plan is part of a safety package. Of course, it's gotta be labeled the safety package. We're gonna get into that in a minute. Um, backed by $14 billion in new funding. You are literally using your taxpayer dollars uh, to get yourself fined. Kind of a fun thing to think about. In case you guys didn't know, in the UK, speed cameras have been ubiquitous for decades and are despised. I would imagine there's not, I shouldn't say not a single person out there, but 99% of people hate speed cameras. Um, we're gonna get into exactly what we're talking about in a second. Uh, they are a matter of debate in the US right now, like the article notes, and banned by law in at least seven states. We have a map of that we're gonna show you guys here in a minute, in case you don't know if your state bans it or not. Um, and one of my favorite parts of the entire article is it's actually bipartisan hatred toward the new speeding camera push from both sides of the aisle. Republicans and Democrats can't ever agree on anything, but they're agreeing on this. Oh, this is great. Yeah, conservatives view them as overreach and liberals oppose fines funding police. Okay, so uh, Secretary Pete, we're gonna call him Secretary Pete's uh, plan to promote speed safety cameras is raising the troubling specter of ubiquitous automated traffic enforcement in the style of the UK where the cameras are widely despised. Uh, Pete's 42 page road safety plan because they have to package it in terms of road safety, otherwise literally 100% would be against it. Um, from the new infrastructure bill, oh boy. Uh, so if you guys have been following my channel, the new infrastructure bill has all sorts of insane things in it and you never know if these things are gonna come to pass. Lots of things can be changed, but we raise the alarm about it so that you know what's happening. A lot of the times there's 4,000 pages worth of bills. It takes us a long time to get through what's going on. This is just another crazy thing that we found. I mean, first it was uh, pushing like the, the kill switch and yes, that is an actual thing that is discussed in the infrastructure bill. Um, and there are so many other things we talked about over the last couple months. The, uh, the new speeding camera push is just the latest one of them. So, <laughs> uh, it's only briefly mentioned, but obviously enough to set up alarm bells ringing for the worried motorists. Now there is a slight paragraph here about Tucker Carlson. I'm not gonna bore you with that because I don't care what Tucker Carlson thinks. Um, but moving down a little bit, nonpartisan motorist advocate groups are also against the plan. The National Motorist Association has a top 10 list of why speed cameras are bad. We have a similar list, arguing that they can actually make our roads less safe. Um, I can attest to this for like red light cameras in particular. Uh, there's a really big red light camera sort of area uh, near my home and the amount of people that I've seen slam on their brakes and almost cause accidents trying to not get the fine by that red light camera, I, I see it almost daily, it's bonkers. 
So they have a quote here, the government's reaction per the National Roadway Safety Strategy announced by U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete last week is again to restrict driving speeds despite historical data that indicates the nation's roads are as safe as they have ever been, the estimated uptick in 2021 notwithstanding. Uh, that was the president of the NMA. So <laughs> I love their quotes here. In the brave new world being staked out by the National Roadway Safety Strategy, you may pay a literal price for letting a family member or friend borrow a car registered to you. Uh, interesting stats on that, by the way, how many times it's the wrong person behind the wheel. Um, the true solution to roadway safety is continued improvement in street design, vehicle technology, and road user drivers, bicyclists, and pedestrians education, not flawed command and control enforcement. Um, speed cameras have also drawn sharp criticism from some of the left who are angry that the fines are often being directed to fund police departments, making the issue rare grounds for partisan, or partisan, uh, bipartisan agreement. Um, that, it just makes me smile a little bit that that's where everything is intersecting right now on that particular part of the policy. Um, here's the list right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Which states currently allow speed cameras? I believe uh, my state does, sadly. Um, I know my old state, Iowa, definitely did because I got hit by a couple of them. That's not why I'm making the video, but you know. Um, kind of a crazy thing. So if you're on the list, I'm not sure if this national push uh, by Secretary Pete could supersede or over overwrite state law. A lot of that stuff is kind of complicated. I'm not 100%. There's good old Pete right there, uh, plan to promote speed safety cameras. Um, so what's fascinating, I'm gonna jump over to some of the reasons why people don't like uh, speeding cameras. And this is actually, I believe by Washington State, they put together an entire list in case you guys were curious about this. Um, burden on the innocent with misidentification. So this is crazy and this might be a year or two old, but you'll get the general gist of it. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the registered owner is a driver only 72% of the time. Uh, without consideration for any other shortcomings, over one in four tickets issued by like a speeding or red light camera are to the wrong person. And it's your burden to prove that it was somebody else in your car. I just, I don't like that. It's not my favorite sort of uh, thing that occurs with this whole situation. There's equipment malfunctions here. Uh, you have to take time off to prove that you were innocent if it was some sort of issue. Less safe. So they have a bunch of studies here uh, that say that there's actually an increase of accidents like we talked about with red light cameras and speed cameras because people will do crazy things to avoid fines. And honestly, I think most of us can probably agree at this point, this big speeding camera push is just a giant cash grab for the government. Um, I hope it doesn't make me sound like a conspiracy theorist or anything weird like that, but I think there's a lot of reasons uh, for why it's basically just a cash grab and why it's not really making the roads safer. Um, lack of audit and oversight because it's private camera vendors. Uh, let's see. Solutions to problems that don't exist, talking about how basically like roads are safer than they've ever been. They're spending, I don't even know how much money basically installing these speed cameras across the US. One of the bigger ones here is denial of due process. Uh, the Sixth Amendment's confront or confrontation clause gives the accused the right to be confronted by witnesses against them. You don't get that with speeding or red light cameras, so you can't really face your accuser unless they're sort of transferring that to the judge that you would have to go see eventually. Uh, not trustworthy invasion of privacy because it's basically taking pictures inside of your car to a certain degree. Um, interesting, I hadn't heard that one before, but yeah, lucrative photo enhancement favored over engineering. Um, so those are just some of the ideas in case you guys didn't know. Um, what's interesting and hopefully I can find it here. Um, okay, found the new part. Now in case you guys didn't know this, and this is kind of an interesting point about speeding and red light cameras, um, these systems negatively impact, or the negative impact falls particularly hard on the poor in general. Um, the fines are a regressive tax. Any elected official that supports these systems is supporting screwing every one of his or her constituents over that drives a car. Um, interesting stuff. I mean, like, I, mostly I want to bring this to your attention, guys, because 
I'm not a fan of speeding cameras in general. I don't know many people that are. I think there are better solutions to getting people to slow down. Um, I would imagine a more simple solution would be to have more cops on the road. At least you can sort of face your accuser. You can talk about what happened. There might have been extenuating circumstances. Uh, a number of reasons uh, why that would be favored over speeding ticket. But I think we all sort of know that it's just a big government cash grab during this entire thing. They just want more dollars to spend on all sorts of different stuff. Um, but I would be super curious uh, to get your guys' viewpoint on this. Do you think I'm way off base? That's totally okay. Just be respectful in the comments. Uh, maybe you guys love the idea of speeding cameras uh, nationwide now because that's what might be happening here. Um, I would be very curious to sort of know where you guys come down on this particular issue. Anyway, we're going to keep it real simple for today. That's the only topic that we're covering. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, I really want to get feedback on if you'd like to be alerted about big automotive policy changes moving forward. Um, if you guys like these videos, we're going to do more of them. If they get views, we're going to do more of them. If you don't like them, we probably won't do them as much. I want to make sure we're providing content that you guys appreciate and like. And if you have comments or concerns about any of that, put in the comment section below. I'd love to get your feedback. And with that, I'm all out of words to talk about today. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. That's all I got. Bye.